Alpha, that's your girl Denise. Um, I am a part of the Fit Junkie crew. Um, as far as I go, I am a life coach. And um, yeah, this is um, my place of peace. I come here Monday through Friday, get it in. As you can see, your girl is drenched up in here in the dungeon. Um, this season, y'all, um, I will be working more so on my lower body and really trying to bring that in. Um, this is my second year going into um, competing. I competed um, in June. And I think I did pretty good. I, you know, I, I did okay for my first time, you know. So your girl is wellness. So we're gonna see what we can do with these legs, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with these legs and these and you know, it's still work in progress. All right, Denise, so what made you want to compete? Well, um, I actually wanted to compete years and years ago, but um, I just couldn't. They didn't have a really a category that I actually could fit into because, you know, I'm kind of heavier on the bottom. Your girl kind of carries her weight down now. So um, I wanted to do it, but I actually, they could never really find a place for me to actually fit into because of my top and my bottom is just so, it's a difference there. So um, what made me compete this time was the encouragement of my coach and the original gangsters that was already here. They really motivated me to actually see if I could try this and I could pull it off. And um, I actually did it, I'm um, very proud of myself, but it was just the encouragement of the, the ladies that was um, already on the team and had already competed previously. Um, so, yeah. What is the best piece of advice could you give anyone thinking or wanting to compete? Um, if I had to give one piece of advice, it would be to not judge yourself so harshly. Um, not look in the mirror and really judge yourself and say what you can't do until you at least try it. Um, and once you do decide to try it, decide to stick with the process. Um, trust the coach. Um, trust what it is that, you feel, that you're feeling actually before you get ready to start. And just follow through with whatever it is that you say you was going to do. It's hard to follow through. It's hard to trust the process. But that is a part of the process. So, um, yeah, that's my advice. So what would you say? I know you said it's hard, you know, to trust the process. But what would you say is like, out of all of this in your experience, what was the hardest thing for you to go through this prep? Um, the mental aspect of it. The mental aspect of it is, is very hard, especially when you've been doing what you want to do for so long and you have to follow the guidance of someone else. Um, that is probably the hardest part. Um, it's not so much as the food and it's not so much as the exercise. It's just being told what to do and actually following through with what you're being told to do. Um, we as grown-ups don't really like to, for anybody at this stage in life, of anybody to really tell us what to do. So we have to really humble ourselves in this process and be able to follow the guidance that's being given to us and really take it and learn from it and grow from it. All right, thank you, Denise. No, I'm talking about. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out the way. Um, so stay tuned. Watch us see what we're going to come up with.